Great to see you guys. I just got this haircut. I look like um, Justin Bieber's uncle. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm comfortable at this point, but you know, it's a constant struggle for me. His uncle. I'm Justin Bieber's uncle. It's, you know, his more masculine older brother or something like that. But. I've been thinking a lot about class recently because my cousin is going through the college search process and he's studying for the SAT. And I'm helping him study and I'm looking at this test. This test is profoundly classist. Like, think about the way they phrase things on the SAT. They'll phrase things like this. They'll be like, if Chauncey eats an avocado every morning in his gazebo for one summer, and then his horse dies, so he doesn't eat avocados for two days, how many avocados does Chauncey eat that summer? If you're not well off, you're just like, what's a gazebo? What is a gazebo? You don't know. You didn't have one growing up. The SAT is just a test made by people who have gazebos for other people who already have gazebos so they can all keep being politicians. <laughs> That's the situation with the gazebo. That's my gazebo conspiracy, but I think I'm just hostile towards the SAT because I'm dyslexic. Yep, so when I took the SAT for my score, they just sent me a helmet. <laughs> it was not fair. I said, oh, I want to take it again. My parents said, they'll deport you. Just be easy. And I hate that they call dyslexia a learning disability. I hate that because it's not a disability, it's a difference. Like, I can't do math, but I can finger paint. <laughs> I'm really good at it. And it doesn't make any sense to call someone disabled for being different. Like, that logic makes no sense. Because if you were going to follow that, then Lady Gaga would be a paraplegic retard. <laughs> How different is she? She showed up at the Grammys in a giant egg. Could you imagine if she did that in high school homeroom? Just like, oh, my, 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 my. I just want to dance. Is it going to be OK? It's like, oh. High school administrators would see that, and they'd be like, um, somebody get this egg girl some Adderall. <laughs> Things are not OK for her. Things are not OK. They are not OK. I had to come out to my parents about my dyslexia, too, because I was in the closet about it. It clearly was not the only thing I was also in the closet about, right? I'm also left-handed. Boom, OK. All right, all right. No, but I came out to my parents, right? I was like, Mom, Dad, sit down. I'm coming out. I am dyslexic. And my dad was like, that's fine, but that doesn't explain your haircut. I said, OK. And then I came out, came out, right? And my dad's gay friendly, but he doesn't say gay. He does nonverbal communication, communication. He does a wiggle. This is what he does. He'll be like, straight, straight. Your friend in the back, is he uh <laughs> Have Parkinson's? I got him tickets to an Elton John concert one year. I was like, knock yourself out. He's like, the whole thing? I just can't. Ah. <laughs> had to get him a neck brace. I'm like, I'm sorry, Dad. He's more gay friendly than I am. Like, I have a lot of internalized homophobia. Like, I hate doing lesbian shows. I hate them so much. I hate them with a passion. This is why. This is how lesbians laugh. Are you guys ready for this? This is how lesbians laugh. Lesbians laughing. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> Eat some more kale and kill yourself. My dad's a man, though. Great guy. He text messages me, though. He's got these little weird, quirky things with his text messaging. Straight white guy in his 60s. He texts LOL with a Z. I don't know what a uh, 12-year-old girl taught you that little trick. <laughs> Please stop talking to her. And he overuses LOL too. He'll be like, ate a big sandwich today. Ha 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 ha. And then you add the Z, it's like, is he actually laughing? Like, ha 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 Dad. Ate a big sandwich today. Ha ha You're adopted. Ha 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 Come on. I never heard back from him after that, actually. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I text my mom, LOL, like four hours later, I get a text back, true story. She goes, Lando Lakes? <laughs> kind of, you, you text dad, you'll have quite the conversation. It'll be a good one for the two of you. It's 
swear to God. I was a, uh, the reason I was like always in the class about my dyslexia and all this stuff was because I grew up in like really rural Maine. I grew up in rural, rural Maine, right? And now I like saying I live in Vermont. I mean, I like, I like saying I, uh, I like saying I live in New York because people understand that. They're like, oh, New York, grimy. But I say I'm from Maine, people are like, oh, I love New Hampshire. <laughs> it's not the part of Maine I'm from. <laughs> like the last person I told I was from Maine just was like, oh, Maine, I've got like four cousins from Canada. <laughs> okay, I like Kit Kats. What are we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? And it's rural America, right? Like there's nothing to do in my hometown. You live in New York, you've got all these options, you've got restaurants, black people. It's, it's very different, very different. But like there's nothing in Maine. Like we just have the restaurant, the Jewish person. <laughs> people are like, what do you want to do tonight? Do you want to go to the restaurant? I don't know, is the chef working or is he with the prostitute? <laughs> I don't know, Bob, what's your mom doing? I'll leave you guys with this. I, um, I used the word retarded the other day and I felt very bad about it and some guy overheard me and he called me out. He said, don't say that word. So right away I thanked him. I said, you're right, I shouldn't say the word retarded because my uncle is retarded. Conversation should have ended there except he looks at me and he goes, oh, your uncle's retarded? Is he legally retarded? Said, Are you trying to call my uncle an illegal retard? I don't think he's pretending he's retarded for his taxes. And I've never seen him get nervous when the cops are around. How many gazebos do you have? What is your problem? It's weird to have a, like a legal, legality with retardation too. I was thinking about that. How much would it suck to take your kid to go get tested for retardation, have the doctor come out and be like, all right, we've got good news and we've got bad news. Your son, not retarded. Real dumb though, he is, woo, he is really slow. He missed that retardation factor by like one point. Special Olympics for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, I'm gonna end right there. You guys have been great. My name's Emma Wilman, give it up for your host. Thanks so much.